Hello everybody to Dr. Ammar channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, my talk today about uh, how to uh, know and determine the X uh, in the ECG. Actually, um, there is a, a normal X, um, left X deviation and right X deviation. Um, this ECG for one patient uh, for one patient, uh, um, this ECG as uh, um, we are looking for uh, for um, lead one and lead two. You are see the R wave here. I actually I will I will more control in the phone. Then here um, you are seeing the positive uh, R wave and positive R wave. That means it's. Uh, 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 normal X. This is normal X. Um, so uh, we are for second one, and here we are seeing for this is one patient. Uh, see here the R wave in this one, and R wave on this one. Uh, see here it's positive. And here it's negative so this one it's called lift X deviation okay as you are seeing this is lead one and lead two for clear this is the R wave here it's uh, positive uh, negative down deflection or down it's downward and this is upward if this one it's uh, negative and this was uh, this one is positive that mean it will be right x deviation yani this is the meaning how to differentiate between the axis and how to determine in very easy way so when we are seeing this uh, left uh, block our our left x deviations we are seeing this in fascicular block, hemiblock, inferior myocardial infarction, maybe normal variant in obese patients, or sometimes common with Wolf Parkinson's White syndrome. Um, but right axe deviations, right one, it's um, uh, a right axe deviations coming with lateral myocardial infarction. Uh, right ventricular hypertrophy, we have a circular block also, and the pre-excitations like a pre-excitation syndrome, uh, like Wolf Parkinson syndrome. This is my topics and my review um, shortly about uh, how to de determine the uh, the X uh, in ECG and what's the importance and what's the causes of this one. Follow us or follow me on my youtube channel for further things and uh, to learn more about these things thank you for watching